Maria Gonzalez is a 57-year-old Hispanic woman from Barcelona, Spain. Ms. Gonzalez was born into a family of poor factory workers and was the only child after her sister died at birth when Maria was 13 years old. Maria's mother had an untimely death due to complications during the delivery of her late sister. Maria's teachers told her father they would see her talking and laughing to herself and would sometimes tilt her head to the side. Ms. Gonzalez was forced to drop out of school during 8th grade to take care of her home and at the age of 17, her father had his foot amputated due to uncontrolled diabetes. While in the hospital, he underwent psychiatric evaluation and was diagnosed with a mild form of schizophrenia. Her father was discharged into a skilled nursing facility and Maria, who had no income, was forced out of their house onto the streets where she sold her body for money. Ms. Gonzalez was able to hold some jobs during this period of homelessness, but for no longer than a week at each time. At the age of 25, Maria was diagnosed with schizophrenia and has had many short hospitalizations since her diagnosis due to attempts to harm herself. She was admitted for psychiatric evaluation after being brought in on a Baker Act due to command hallucinations telling her to hurt herself and others. Maria was prescribed Risperdal, Seroquel, and Clozaril, but was not compliant with the medication regimen due to her financial and living situation, which in turn caused her to relapse. She also stated that she felt like the medication was not working and it was a waste of time and money. She currently has no plans of taking her medication when she is discharged from the hospital. She currently isolates herself in a room and poured a cup of water on one of the patients two days ago. The patient consistently reports she is suspicious of the other patients and does not trust any of the nurses or healthcare personnel. <laughs> hey, Maria! Cut yourself and put, 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 put your kid in the microwave! Yes, that, that should do it! I should cut my wrist. Oh yeah, mommy, what are you doing? Felipe? Yes, mommy? I'm going to put you in the oh, way! Come here! No, 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 not again! Not again, mommy! Oh, oh help, nine, one, one. My mommy is loco! She's trying to put me in the microwave again! Evening, ma'am. My name is Officer Goodman, and I received a call that someone tried to put their child in the microwave. There's a girl up beside you! Clown beside me, ma'am? No, ma'am, I didn't see one. You, you feeling all right? The voices! They told me to put my child in the microwave! The voices told you to put your child in the microwave? You see? All right, ma'am. Uh, for, for your safety, I'm going to have to bake correct you. I'm going to take you to get some help, okay, ma'am? Where are you taking me? To the hospital. Help! 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 What are you doing to me? Help! I see unicorns! Okay. Get out of here, unicorns! There's no unicorns! There's no unicorns! Just calm down and go lay in the bed. Go lay in the bed and go. Weirdo. Hey, officer, what's the problem? Oh, thank the Lord I found you, Doc. Uh -huh. Alright, we have 57 year old Maria Gonzalez, and God. Yeah. She came in because she was sick. Get back in the bed, and God. That's unicorn! Get back in the bed! Did she just say unicorn? Yeah, she's been seeing stuff all morning, and God. Oh, okay. Yeah, she tried killing herself, so I'm baker acting her and put her in the hospital. Right, God. all right. Well, uh, let me do my thing, okay? All right, you go. <sighs> Showtime! All right, it smells like up dog in here. <clears throat> I, I said it smells like up dog in here. Yeah. See, see what's, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to say, what's up, dog? And I'm going to say, not much, you, but, uh, you, but, but you're schizo, so you're probably seeing dogs anyway. And, uh, that's fine. All right. Boy, I really wish I could read my own handwriting. So, uh, Maria Gonzalez, that's you, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that as a yes. Uh, it says here you were baker acted for trying to harm yourself and your kid. Hey, hey, hey. Give me a stick. Give me a stick. Come on. Give it. Get, good, good girl. Good girl. Okay, so I took care the of that. This is in my head! What? They told me to microwave my kid on high heat for 60 seconds! Uh, okay, uh, mistook kid for hot pocket. Uh, writing that down. Okay, so my diagnosis is going to be self directed and other directed violence related to threats of violence to itself and others, uh, as evidenced by a statement of harm to child and hitting yourself with a stick. Do you see a slime? No, ma'am, there's no lie in there. There's, there's a lie in there! there there's really not, ma'am. It's, it's, it's right in front of you! I think I would know if there was a lion right in it's front of me. It's not gonna bite you! It's not gonna bite me. I'm gonna be fine, alright? <laughs> so I'll just submit this information and then I'll be right back.
<sighs> man, I really thought that updog joke was gonna land. Excuse me, Dr. Nurse Man! Uh, where's my mother? Oh, you had a hot pocket, right? Uh, yeah, where's my mother at? Yeah, yeah, she's in there. Don't worry, there's no microwaves in there. Okay, But right. uh, hey, before you go in, um... Does it, uh... Does it smell like updog? What is, uh... What is updog? <laughs> Not much, you. <laughs> I go in there, see your mom. Oh, uh, mommy? Felipe! Be careful, there's an alligator in somewhere! Mommy, you know there's no alligators in the hospital! He said his name is George, and he's trying to sell me a watch for an outrageous price! How's it going? I'm George. You wanna buy a watch for a thousand dollars? Don't buy anything from him! Mommy, Felipe. you know there's no alligators in the hospital! He's not trying to sell you a watch! I can't believe I actually got it with Updog. I lost it the work before. Okay, Miss Gonzalez, got some good news for you, okay? How you holding up? Yeah, it's great. Okay, so I got you a prescription for some Clozeril, okay? It's an antipsychotic medication. So, uh, just what this is going to do is it's going to bind to the dopamine receptors in the central nervous system and bok bok bagok, bok bok bagok. So, uh, bok bagok and bok. So, you know, just watch out for that. Yeah. So, uh, so what you're going to really need to watch out for, there's some side effects that come with this medication. So, like seizures, any more visual disturbances, uh, dry mouth is a thing that's pretty common with this medication. So, you're really going to need to watch out for that. <laughs> All right, so for the hot pocket over there, if you notice mommy getting tired, if she can't breathe or something like that, you'll be sure to call 911 immediately, okay? Okay, doctor, nurse! It, it, it's really important that you do that. I mean, I mean, this medicine's pretty good, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there are some side effects to watch out for. So, uh, so, you know, just, uh, your insurance doesn't cover you staying here overnight. Sorry about that. So we're gonna have to send you home, if that's okay. Okay, Mr. Camel! Yeah. I understand! Yeah, mommy, he's not a camel, he's a doctor yeah, nurse man! I'm not a camel, but, uh, yeah, so uh, you just stay away from the microwave and watch out for yourself, okay? Okay. Great. Hello? Hey there, I'm here for your in-home therapy session. I, I, I forgot to prescribe it, but I figured I'd just come over to your house completely unannounced and that would be okay. <laughs> what? You smell like up dog. What's <laughs> Oh, you almost got me. You almost got me. Oh, you must be feeling better. You got jokes. Okay, so first off, how you been feeling? I am feeling good. Okay, great. So, uh, have you been taking that Clozeril I prescribed for you? See. Si. Okay, good. So, how's that medication been working? It's been working okay, but I have nausea, dry mouth, and I've, um... I've gained a little bit of weight. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So, uh, nothing to worry about. Those are totally normal side effects of the medication. But, uh, have you been having any auditory or visual hallucinations recently? No. Okay, good. No no voices in your head telling you to hurt yourself or, or somebody else? <laughs> no. Okay, that, that, that's great. Um, uh, just real quick, do you, do you mind if I get a glass of water? I've just been really thirsty. No, not at all. Help yourself. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so where are those cups? <gasps> Mrs. Gonzalez.